Hey ladies, this is going to be Coleman Days 1 through 3. I meant to do these videos every day in real time um, for the 5 days, but I've been kind of sick with a cold, which you probably can tell by the sound of my voice. I'm just going to kind of do it. Um, I'm going to group these 3 days together, and then I'm going to do 4 and 5 um, on Friday. I started taking um, Clomid on cycle day 5, and that was October 5th. So my cycles and the days of the week... Um, coincide with each other so that's kind of that's kind of made it a little bit easier for me um which has been really nice um so I'm taking Clomid for five days and the first day I didn't really notice a difference um I might have noticed a little bit really um I spot uh or I have a period for five days and then I spot for three two to three days um and this time it was a lot shorter. Um, I spotted the first day I took Clomid and then by the end of the night it was completely gone which was nice to have. Um, on previous cycles I, spot, I did spot a little bit um, longer and that was because of Provera and um, if you don't know this cycle was a medicated cycle with Provera so this time around it was a lot more pleasant experience than the last time which I have a video on that um, in my last TTC update so I will have a link for that down below in case you are interested in watching that. Second day um, I started noticing a little bit changes in my mood. I wasn't I wasn't grumpy I was just more of kind of like um, just kind of eh. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I was just kind of blah the whole day. Um, and I don't know if that was because I started getting a cold or um, what happened. I was just kind of in a, kind of in a, like a blah mood. I don't know. I don't know how to other, any other way to explain it than that. And um, at the end of the day, um, right when I was um, getting ready for bed, I started noticing a little bit of twinges on my right side. And that's kind of what I'm noticing today as well. Um, it started in the afternoon and um, I started to feel a lot more like twinges on my right side. And they weren't painful. They were just kind of like little, it kind of felt like little uh, pinpricks in my right ovary. And I actually think my right ovary is my dominant one because I actually ovulated on the right side when I was pregnant with Dallas as well. So I definitely think the right is my more dominant one. I'm not sure. I've never really had any pain in my left. Um, even when, even before I got pregnant with Dallas, I never really noticed as much pain in my left side than I did on my right side. And um, that even happens during my, my cycle too. I just, I always get cramps either in the middle or the right side of my uterus, which is weird. I started taking PKs yesterday. I took one in the morning and then I took one this morning. And I'm probably going to take one tonight just to see because I've been feeling, like again, I've been feeling some twinges on my right side. They're getting more intense. I, on cycle day six, my PK was negative. This one's negative, but they are starting to gradually get darker. And I'll kind of show you guys a clip in a minute what they look like. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the top one is from cycle day 6, and the bottom is cycle day 7. So it has gotten a little tiny bit darker. It's not really showing that on camera, but I can see that on here. girls. I will see you Friday for my days 4 and 5. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you later. Bye!